stars. They then called that an island universe, and then they started calling them galaxies when they realized they were a dime a dozen. <laughs> and today, when we talk about our universe, again, it's simply the part that we can see. It's the interior of the sphere here, which is just the region from which light has had time to get here so far during the 14 billion years through the Big Bang. So, so the, the, the Big, Big Bang. Bang was the origin, and this is the this shows the universe as it as we see it 14 billion years ago. But if, if that's where we saw it 14 billion years ago, it's expanded since we saw it. So what it is really now is a lot bigger. If that's the radius of 14, right. that's so that's about the stuff would be about 40 billion light years away. But of course, the million dollar question is, is there more space beyond that? Right. right? If history is anything to go by, there probably is. And why would it stop now? Yeah. Why would this expansion stop yeah. now? Yeah. In fact, I got that question very recently when I was uh, giving a little presentation about space from at the uh, preschool of my son, Alexander. And this little four-year-old kid asks me, excuse me, <laughs> does space go on forever? <laughs> Wow. No. And I'm thinking, whoa, that's such an awesome question because I don't know the answer to it. <laughs>